This is the FineFine Fine K658, and it's one of FineFine's first forays into dynamic microphones. Now, this mic was a massive hit when it came out, and it still is. It's got everything from that SM7B look, it sounds good, it's got RGB. So, suffice to say, FineFine's wager with this mic paid off. But even then, it wasn't perfect. In fact, the K658 is more of a minimum viable product to get tons of feedback from YouTubers and users alike. And with that feedback, they came up with the Fine Fine K658 and the Fine Fine AM8. Both of these are excellent mics for their price, and they come with a feature that did not come with the K658. XLR expandability, so you can connect them to a mixer or audio interface. With these two mics, Fine Fine's plan of mic domination was in full motion, but there was still one missing piece. This! The Fine Fine SC3 Mixer. How will these mics sound with the Fine Fine SC3? There's only one way to find out. Let the unboxing begin. Hi, it's Feature Dave here, and I forgot to mention that Fine Fine did send me the Fine Fine SC3 mixer, but everything I say in this video are my thoughts only. Back to the review. All right, let's unbox this mixer. Peeling it right there. All right, beautiful. That is a colorful manual. It comes with a TRS to TRRS cable. TRS is tip ring sleeve, whereas TRRS is tip ring ring sleeve. And the jack with the extra ring is what goes into your phone because the extra ring is supposed to accommodate for your phone's microphone. Only for line out. Very user-friendly labels. And here we got, you got USB-C to USB-C with a type A adapter as well. So this goes into the mixer, and one of these will go into your computer. And for the mixer itself, huh. All plastic build quality. For the price, that makes sense. But a plastic chassis could mean it's prone to interference, but we shall find out. You got these nice slider knobs up here, and I like the feel of that. Very gradual, very tactile. Put it set it down here nice to the touch let me plug this in real quick so this is the type c side of the cable going into this slot over here otg slash pc taking the other end plugging that into my hub and look at how it lights up ah oh. $49? Look at that lighting. Let's test out the features. Okay, really quickly, let me show you how to set the mixer up. So this is the Fine Fine AM8. I'm going to flip it around. I'm going to plug the female end of the XLR cable into the XLR port. When you're doing this, make sure your gain is turned all the way down, both on the Fine Fine AM8 and the SC3 mixer. So this is the SC3's mic gain or volume, and we're going to drag that all the way down, as well as the line in gain. Much better. And from here, I'm going to plug the male XLR end into the SC3's combo jack over here. Okay, again, you do not want to have any kind of gain whatsoever on this mic, be it headphone gain or mic gain. Make sure they are all cranked down. But here's some good news. It is possible to have the AM8's RGB on while having the SC3 mixer on. So when I opened my audio software, all I did was go to the preferences and I chose the SC3 mixer. I did not need to install any drivers. It's kind of like getting on a Zoom call and just picking your mic. And in this case, the mic you pick is SC3 Mixer. Now, going back to the features, let's test the RGB. All right, some kind of solid pink here. Ooh, purple. Blue, my color of choice. Cyan. A darker green. Got some kind of a lime green here. Now you got all the RGB colors again. There's this certain pattern at which the colors are shifting. Let's tap it one more time. Oh, and that is a more gradual fading in and out into different colors. Ah, oh, here the lights do actually fade out. The previous one was more of a transition. Very nice. Oh, and this is nice. This is a very modular way of changing the colors just button by button this is cute one more time that is a solid red and i think we have cycled through just making sure you understand the inputs and outputs this here is the jack that connects your mixer to your computer
This here is your line out, and it comes with its own fader parallel to it. This jack would be used to transfer the audio from your mixer to, say, a pair of speakers, and you would control the volume with a fader. This here is the proper headphone jack. And by proper, I mean I mistakenly plugged this into this headset jack over here first. But as you can see here, that is apparently for the headset mic. Although I was able to plug this over here, I would not recommend it. There was a bit of delay listening to my voice on this jack versus this jack, which is more real time. The line in lets you take in audio into the mixer. Say you wanted to play background music through your phone, you would be using this. The headset jack is for plugging in gaming headsets with their own mics, and you will get those mics to work with this one jack here it's magic the dynamic condenser switch oh boy this will give your mic the appropriate amount of gain depending on what type of mic it is so since it's switched to condenser i have been on the wrong setting this whole time let me just drop my gain a bit before i flick that switch and now we are gradually dragging it back up how does this sound. I can see my waveforms, they're beefier, they're fatter, and this combo jack is for plugging in XLR connectors as well as TRS connectors, which you are going to find on the end of some karaoke microphones. This 48 volts button is for condenser microphones. The Fine Fine AM8 is not a condenser, so we won't be using it, but the feature is there if you need it. Now this electric button is an auto-tune button. Hello? Ha. Oh. Does this make me sound better? Do I sound like a computer? I want to sing. So yeah, there are 12 different auto-tune keys. So let's try to go to the key of G right here. Hello. Ha. Ah, ah. Ha. Am I a better singer now? Let's go through each one of them. Okay, we're going to go through the different keys, starting with the key of A. Hey. 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 Hey, 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 am I a good singer now? Hey, 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 well that was fun. Let's turn that off. There are four custom buttons over here that you can use to record sounds. So let's try recording something. Can you hear me? Well, I'm talking right now. How does it sound? All right, let's try to play that back. Can you hear me? Well, I'm talking right now. How does it sound? Sounds good, but there was kind of a quality drop. Let's try button D to see if that changes anything. I'm just gonna long press this, wait for it to go white. Now this is a new recording. Let's press that. Now this is a new recording. Yep, same quality. Now this mixer doesn't have any internal storage or anything, so you do need to re-record those every time you boot this up. Let's go for the voices. I am a male. This is what a male is supposed to sound like. It's kind of a delay though. I guess because it takes some time to do the onboard processing, you get some delay when monitoring. But that's okay. At least, I sound like a male. <laughs> I really sound more like an orc. I am your... Yeah, let's not. I am now a female, I guess. I really feel like this is kind of like a chipmunk voice or like when I got a cold voice. And this is the robot? Yeah, I guess that's the robot. It's also adding quite a bit of gain to my recording. No. should be the male voice. You have been listening to Artificial Intelligence. 
<laughs> I guess this works. Back to the regular settings. All right, so here are my thoughts so far. Okay, just to set the record straight, will the Fine Fine AM8 actually sound better on the Fine Fine SC3 mixer? Let's find out. So I'm going to speak into the Fine Fine AM8. You're hearing me speak into the Fine Fine AM8 in USB mode. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. You're hearing me speak into the Fine Fine AM8 connected to the Fine Fine SC3 mixer. How does this sound? The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. So to my ear, there was not a significant difference in terms of the audio quality between the Fine Fine AM8 in USB mode and with the SC3 mixer. If you look at the specs of the Fine Fine AM8 and SC3 on their website, they are very close. If you already have a Fine Fine AM8 and you want to improve your sound with the SC3 mixer, then you're probably just better off sticking with the AM8. However, if you do want the SC3 just for its additional features, such as the fact that it is an audio interface. It is a mixer, but it can also be an audio interface. You get your voice changer, custom buttons, auto-tune, line in and out. As far as I'm concerned, this is the best $50 interface that I've used, and maybe the only $50 one that I've used. It's literally like having a $50 Go XLR. The cheapest professional grade audio interface that I tend to recommend is the Behringer UMC 204 HD, and this is $150 more or less. This is a third of that with 90% of this quality and a different feature set. Now there is this mic that I think the Fine Fine SC3 might be perfect for, and that is the Fine Fine K6690 dynamic microphone. This is a $37 mic that does not have its own USB mode, so it will need a mixer slash audio interface to even work. But if the aesthetic of this is too utilitarian for you, and you want the RGB look of the AM8 while getting an RGB mixer, then that's another valid reason to get these two together. If you're considering getting the Fine Fine SC3 mixer, make sure to check out the links down below.